It's like it's working. It's also very loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. So yeah, uh, oh, there you go. There's what the acronym stands for. The Chronological Haunted Anomalous Interconnected Narrative. So this is a bit different. Uh, oh, I need to update my category. One sec. But uh, yeah, so like, just like the uh, thing we played previously, this is still also presented by the Haunted PS1 team. Uh, and it is another short collection of stories, but unlike the other ones, they, this one's actually interconnected. At least that's how it's sold. I don't really know. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> as soon as I update my uh, category here. Good on them for having categories for everything. Pardon me. Yeah. <coughs> Is it supposed to be vibrating? Yes. <clears throat> oh my god, it's so fucking loud. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna do these in order. Um, oh my god. My ears, chat, my ears. So, Specimen 1, Torch, Jat by Jazz Mickle. Uh, how do I, like... Why the sounds? Uh, no, I want to... How do I examine it? What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it, stop doing that. Oh, examine is how you start it. Okay, there's not like... I see now. Holy shit. Board of Investigation, Operation Change, Specimen 1. Research log overseen by Chief Research Director, 8th Director, OSI, IG, Hill, AFB, Utah. Despite everything, we kept searching. Holy damn. Alright. Porch. Let's go. I like the presentation. I think that's just to play it. Yeah, you're right. I should have read chat. Ah! It's way too much. I, I do like the presentation, but my god. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Oh my god, the eyes. Oh no, chat. Don't say it. Don't think it, don't say it. It's a fucking maze! Ruined. I'm done with this collection. Your favorite smile? No. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just being distracted. That's all. The worst part is I can't creep on the conversation anymore because it's now gone into a meeting, which I'm not about to join unless requested to. In which case, stream will instantly end. Sorry, folks. However, I don't think I'm gonna need to be on there. Hopefully. If anything pops up, I'm pretty sure I can resolve it with, a, like, a message or something, so... Too cool for it. Eh. I'm too already put in a bunch of effort today for it. Worked late, got home late. Yo, hello. Hello, handsome. Oh my god. Are we dead? Satan? Sure, it's not the maze that'll make you kiss him. That's probably the end. Maybe? Maze B? Uh, I really like the visual style of that. Um, don't put me in a fucking maze though, goddamn. Also, that was really short, so at least there's that. <laughs> Seriously though, I do like everything about the presentation of it, that was good. Uh, specimen number two, Mr. Blanche. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't read off the names of those people either. That was by Jazz Mickle. <laughs> this is by Adam Pipe. 
and Victor Kraus. Board of Investigation, blah, 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 blah. Specimen responds to input direction of digital pointing device and keys <laughs> input. Ew, who writes it that way? <laughs> AWSD. Did I read it? Lol, which one? Oh, the stuff up here. This is the same text as it was in the other one. Like, aside from it says specimen number two instead of specimen number one. Maybe, maybe the dates are different, I don't know. But the rest are... The... What did I miss? The maze that will make you rage quit. The, the names of the creator. Oh, hold on. We'll go back. <laughs> I love the different graphic that pops up for the hands each time. <laughs> love you, Goon. No, you. Uh, when applied to Sony PlayStation Disc Reader, does not respond to voice input or redacted. Disc seems to be made of resistive material, able to withstand up to at least redacted pounds, tested as such. Physical form resembles the Sony PlayStation Disc format. Uh, black reflective blacks backside, plastic cover, and on iridescent disc. Contents of disc has dialogue referring to redacted. Reference 34BA-56. I was just checking to make sure there's not like a backslide. Adam Pipe and Victor Kraus. So, so did I miss something? <laughs> Please, never mind. <laughs> I, d I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Blanche. This also has a torch in the. <laughs> they stole the graphics and then added something to it in the last game. Hello? Oh shit! Is this- this- oh yeah, it's a continuous narrative, so maybe we're that person. Ah, Miss Blanche. Glad to see you made it this far. Hello, man in suit. Levitating. <laughs> man in business suit levitating. My apologies for us having to meet this way. I'm sure you understand the circumstances required a much more elaborate route. However, I'm sure you're pleased to hear that two of the other participants have made it beyond this point. Blah. That's right, this isn't quite the end of the road yet. Do you know what beach we are on, Miss Ms. Blanche? Are we on the Death Stranding beach? Have a look around, see if you can find a landmark. That's right, it's endless beaches all the way. Endless beaches. <clears throat> To find that this beach, in a certain way, doesn't really exist. In fact, after you step through that gate, you were transported to a place that's personal to you. It does feel rather familiar, doesn't it? Endless as it may be, there is a way forward. You don't think you're gonna need that tor- I don't think you're gonna need that torch, I assure you. Stick close to me and hold your breath and you'll be fine. I wish I had endless beaches. Same, thanks. Damn it, the fuck out of here. My torch! No beaches, damn. I love that walking animation, by the way. And our high-res JPEG hand. This won't end poorly at all. He doesn't look back because he knows that you're slow. <laughs> It's like that trope of the escort NPC, or the, the walk with me NPC side mission, or mission, where they walk either just too fast for you to keep up at walking pace, but too slow for you to uh, stay with them at running pace. Fortunately, there is no run button in this, so you know. <coughs> That's good, I suppose. Oh, they actually started early. Okay, cool. So hopefully they'll be done soon. And then I can stop looking at my phone. And engage with the real world. But also, all y'all keep adding me. Oh! <laughs> Incredible. I lost him. Fuck. Wake up, sheeple. Oh no. Never mind, I found him. 
that we were actually still going the right way. I just needed to angle down a little bit more. So I saw that sharp clip something. I think it was from here. I don't know what. I don't know what I said. <laughs> sure, it was horrible though. Oh no, never mind. It wasn't me. It was a different streamer. Yo, what's that? Is that a rock or a giant fish? Okay, uh, yeah. Where are we going, bud? You want to, uh... I wish I... <laughs> I wish it was a fish. Only. It's getting darker, so that's probably a good sign that we're almost done here. I'm sure he's just going to fade out into existence and then our screen fades away. So there's 20 of these, by the way. This is number two. <coughs> On the bright side, I can very easily check my phone, drink my drink, and do anything else while this one plays out, because I'm literally just holding W. No, get back here, you. Ah. He said, hold your breath. He called it Lamel. <laughs> sure did. All right, that was Miss Ms. Blanche. Who was that by? Hold on, let me check again. <laughs> nice, I finally reorganized my stickers, good stuff. All right, specimen number three by Z Bill and Dundeen F, the participants. One, unusual specimen needs two button inputs, left and up, to move the protagonist avatar. Two, dream captions, <clears throat> denoted by quotation marks, are noteworthy. Speculate they have been grafted onto the specimen at a later date. Uh, Alternate specimen was built around dream captions chronologically unknown Protagonist avatar resembles character blank from original game Redacted 1998 developed by Volvo games Test pending perform rigorous aging tests to determine specimen is in fact originator of character Downgraded at three-year intervals declassified after 12 years DOD uh, D.I.E. 5200.10 Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Let's participate. <clears throat> this is very SCP-ish. It's not SCP-esque. It's not resonating too hard with me, but maybe it'll get better. We'll see. We're only two in. We're only like a tenth of the way through the thing. Let me not get jump to conclusions here. Far under the sea or high up in the clouds, is a strange place that I have found myself the keeper of. We currently have three successful participants enrolled here. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you have to press two arrows at a time to walk. That's very cool. I like that. That's like a Mario level, like a Mario World ROM hack custom level where they just hack it into like only let you do one thing or the other. Ms. Blanche. I favored her very much. She may look dead, but in actuality, she is fighting for her fucking life. She's fighting through a mindscape of her own creation. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, you're the dude. Yeah. Will she awaken from her test? Oh, give me that ruby scepter there. Oh, yeah. I told her she wouldn't need this torch. It's a torch. <laughs> Not a ruby scepter. <laughs> hmm. 
Receptor Lamau. <laughs> Easy mistake. Anyone could have made that mistake. Simple enough. That font says makes it look like it says press two arrows to Hulk. <laughs> I managed to break down the boards with the Ruby Scepter. <laughs> nice. Things are looking good. Systems are all working. Uh, you're diving off the coast of Canada. Which side? <laughs> um, it's as strange as you remember. It's cold. And you're an idiot creature, not designed for an ocean. <laughs> you just sort of float along. Same thanks. And it's suddenly dark. You have a light, but you can barely see anything. Until the beam clips something close. Something huge, and moving incredibly fast, unlike this text. It's like standing next to a train as it rockets past North Coast. And later, you dream about it. You're going about your day, and you see it in the corner of your eye. It's immense, and so much faster than you remember. You try to move. But you just hang there, floating, waiting for it to finally take you. Oh, fuck! <laughs> no! Was I supposed to do something? Oh, maybe I was supposed to move. Hold on. Dodge. The dodge. What the fuck? I hit it! North Coast, Best Coast. Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> Dodge. Oh, fuck! Dodge. Smack. Get out, of, get out of my fucking life, you monster bitch. Get wrecked? <laughs> I did get wrecked, but also... Creature also got wrecked. I'm dancing. I don't like that flicker that keeps happening. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't think it is. <laughs> it doesn't look quite right. Oh, we're in the back rooms now. Lads and lasses. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna go in door one. Why does this keep getting locked? Never mind, we're not going to go in door number one. <laughs> it's artistic. I'm not talking about, like, the wiggly, like, fade-in. I actually like that, but that, like, flicker. I don't think that's supposed to be that way. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. I need to check in on the other participants. Oh. Alright, do it then. Oh, those doors lead to them. The doy. Alright, number two, how you do? Ah! You don't really see them when you're well, but get sick or start to stumble, and you'll find vultures of every kind. Birds, dogs, other people. <laughs> Just hovering at the horizon, waiting for you to finally sit down and give up. If you close your eyes, you can hear them inching closer and closer. It's like those stories you hear about, or you hear about old people dying in their apartments and their own cats eating them. Same thing, vultures. <laughs> Hey, man. Yeah. What? Dodge. Dodge. 
dodge. Smack time. Uh, nope, not smack time yet. Now it's smack time. What? <coughs> Bitch. If I died in my house, I would want my cats eat, to eat me to sustain themselves. That's fair. Is this one of the other guys? This is where I left participant number two. Where have they gone? Boss time, baby. Or they just went up there. Alternate option. <laughs> Aaron signal hiking paths. Got a little mini Goku over here. I think this shiny emblem belonged to participant number two. Jump, jump. I bet it's a key or something. Definitely not going to need to fight anyone to get out of here. Huh. That's shocking, actually. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Ba -do 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 -do. Wait. Never mind, there's nothing over there. Alright, I, I think we can just open door number one now, or that's what my assumption is anyhow. <laughs> Why does this keep getting locked? No! What the fuck? Maybe something happens over here now that I've got the thing? You check in on the other participants. Yeah, so I mean, we checked in on. We started by checking in on participant three. I guess there was something else over here. I don't have like an inventory button or anything, so I'm not really sure. Is there something over here that I missed? Nope. Is there a fly on my screen right now, though? Yep. Yeah, I go back to the rock and it, something will happen. Ah! I hold up the emblem. <clears throat> Even wrapped in dreams, participant number two is drawn to it. I see them flying high in the distance. They will be f They will be fine. <laughs> Hey man, you got a key for me? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Oh, even better than a key. A gun. <laughs> Where did this come from? I like them just wiggling around. Just being a silly little dude, you know? Surely we can shoot the, the doorknob off, right? That's how doors work, I think. <laughs> I won't have to worry about that lock anymore. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, it's participant number one. Dodge. You ready to get fucking shot, you antler wearing bitch? Oh, what the fuck? It gave me no time. I literally can't get it there in time. What is that shit? Oh, it's, I, I'm getting closer. Okay, good. Oh. 
No. Participant number one, you were the most promising one. You were supposed to be the chosen one. I killed a participant. So that's it. My backwards masters will be phasing me out of existence. I feel it happening now. For some reason, my final thought turns to Ms. Blanche. Has she woken up? I wonder what the next one will be about. God, that was loud. Num number... Specimen number four, Emerge, by David Rodman. I can't read that, it's in fucking cursive. And also, maybe not even meant to be legible. But this one is called Emerge. Let's go. They keep getting longer. Ms. Blanche, will she awaken from her test? I like this style. It's a shame we can't see our model. Ooh, Medusa? Maybe. It's us. Dude, this is so floaty. <laughs> the hell. Ah! I don't know what's happening. I can't move right now. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm in the pit. It's like the first time I've been able to move fast in any of these games so far. Don't get close. This reminds me of that one Zelda demo that was in, um... It was in one of the Madvent years, I don't remember which one. I think the twenty the first one, the twenty twenty one. Then to be in the pit. <laughs> yeah, the mushroom one. That was really cool. That might have been twenty twenty one, I can't remember. No no, twenty twenty one was the first one of any of these I played. It definitely wasn't that. And I don't think it was last year's either, so that, I guess it must have been the first one then. Ah it had some really weird name. Oh, I, I should look that up. I don't know. It seems like the Madvent games, they're not really, like, trying... Usually, most of them are not meant to be, like, full games. They're just, like... They're, they're what they are and nothing more. No! This really reminds me of that, though. <laughs> it might even be the same people, because I know they work with a lot of the same people. Don't get close. Don't get close, chat. This is cool. I like the last one, too. Wait, this is where we came in from. Well, that was a big waste of time going over there, but hey, whatever. <laughs> At least I can quake run. And get a little bit of speed. Yo! Is that my hand? Me giving myself a hand? Or no, I've been betrayed by myself. The end. Oh, I'm still going. No, I don't wanna. I fine. As a treat. Hey, it's the shining rug. <laughs> it's why the fuck not, right? 
Pass the test. Boom. That's how you pass. You wake up in the oldies music room. Alright, number five. Coulter Weirmeyer and Bill Dera. One. Specimen's primary input is keyboard wasad. Uh, USB mouse. <laughs> input influences viewing angle to some degree. No other inputs have been registered in testing. Disc matches parameters of standard Sony PlayStation discs, including a DRM region strip indicating North American distribution. Cover art consists of two ink layers applied in succession. There is a minor visual wear on both sides, uh, but no detectable impact read on readability. Material samples were taken at labeled points below, figure one, sent for spectrop spectropathy. Spectrop whatever. <laughs> See Document redacted for details. Results were consistent with control disk samples. Bulk, polycarbonate, plastic, and trace aluminum. Samples sent to Department of Redacted, awaiting further results. See case submission redacted. Uh, three, disk was ripped to hard storage using a non-standard CD-ROM drive. Speci specimen date was emulated on a high-performance workstation using PSMU Pro V1.0.21 Courtesy Redacted Etc. All oh, Get out of here Emulated session Redacted Redacted See document Redacted Emulation is not recommended for further analysis CD duplicates of specimen are not produced See doctor Redacted for a <laughs> briefing on the containment policy All right. Oh shit, chat. We got the drip. <clears throat> Wait, did it say number eight? That doesn't sound right. Congration. You aced the test. That scary place is far away. <laughs> Whatever. This plant will take you home now. Just stay right there. Haha. -ha. Congratulations. It's so fucking loud. Oh my god. Why? Congrat. Congrats. Oh shit. This is cool. I'm like, I'm at the end of the fucking Smash Bros. right now. We already missed one though, so. It's fucking ruined. Space, j space to jump. Space, space to get a hover. Oh my god. I thought this was going to be very atmospheric and not very gamey because it had no cha uh, controls other than just like moving. But I was wrong. No, get off. Get the fuck off. Oh, okay, I gotta hold it to hover. Bro, hold shift to dive? What does diving do? Stop making Pac-Man sounds. Congrats! Come back. Never. You shouldn't go down there. You don't want to go down that road. This is Ms. Blanche will be very upset. And all this testing will have been for nothing. Yo. Fuck, I care about what she thinks, you know? Eh. Eh. No, I want that. Oh. What? How do you, like, steer at all? You're too cute, really. Aw, oh, thanks, game. Oh my god! Collecting those little things. Dude, it is impossible to, like, steer at all in this. As if they meant anything. Oh, fuck you too, game. You'll never wake up. Not when you're so seduced by sleep. This is fucking nightmare fuel to the max. Alright, put me in level two. Aw, oh, damn, that was, that was all of it. That was really cool. That's gonna be hard to beat for me, honestly. Also, it's got the drip. 
But anyway. Number six. Uh, negative Entities and DJ Astral. Uh, disclaimer. Specimen contents have been known to sometimes cause subjects to enter a deep and permanent coma. In some cases, it has caused a deep psychosis resulting in subjects believing that their body is not their own. Uh, last case caused an extreme reaction to the subject resulting in redacted deaths and even redacted. Not redacted. Discoveries. The music created by DJ Astral, who according to the researcher has never even redacted, never even pooped in his whole life, has been noted to have a sedative-like effect on the listener. Even when extracted and played independently, acoustic scientists have analyzed the wavelengths but have found nothing that would explain this anomalous event. Subjects were warned to not drive or operate heavy machinery for several hours after. I too am seduced by sleep. Same. Same as well. Dream Ether. Or Aether, I forget how you say that. DJ Astral. Astral projecting, baby. Oh, we still in it. We still in it. Now we got boost, though. Like 10 fragments to create a key. Like the key to progress the dream. Hell yeah, I do. You're saying there's a chance. Honestly, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Fuck you, voice. <laughs> I'm trying to peer pressure me out of getting my body back. This is dope. I love this. Like, unironically, everything about this is fucking amazing. I hope the rest of these are just other things where I'm floating around in, in a dream space. They called you cringe, I know. Listen, I've, I have become unstoppable. I've learned not to stop the part of myself that's cringe, but to embrace the part of myself that's cringe. Fucking vaporwave generic background. Was it that scary place? Is that what this is all about? You passed, remember? The testing is over, I promise. I promise, smiley face. He lied. Controversial by like Vaporwave Lamau. Oh, I I'm not knocking Vaporwave one bit, but this is a shameless ripoff of like that graphic that anyone ever puts when they talk about Vaporwave in memes and stuff. <laughs> not that that makes me love this any less. This is fucking great. <laughs> have have disembodied godlike voice mock me more while I collect cubes and float around as a big old head. I don't give a shit. Fun and chill at the same time. We can't hear your pop. Where the hell is this last one here? God, the imagery right here. I didn't even notice the planets until like just now, more or less. Oh, my eyes! Got him! Oh, it's over there. Never mind. 
It's gotta be under the sun, right? You know what this level, or th this game reminds me of? This reminds me of that fake sequel to, um... Yo Noid. Or fan made. Yo Noid 2. <laughs> Transcend. You cannot stop me. Excellent fucking visuals, by the way. Every, everything about this is, like, perfect. Except maybe the, like, flame... I like that, but it's gotten old, I guess. The, the, the boost graphics. What does that say? Oh, that's probably the logo of the people that made this one. This is fucking dope, though. This is fucking perfect. Love it. Where the key at? There it is. <laughs> this is it for you now. No going back. I can't move anymore. Why wouldn't you listen to me? To Mrs. Blotch? Even with your body back, who knows what will happen next? <coughs> Don't come trying to me Shit. after all the horrors you will see. The horrors? Just count me in. <laughs> Desert Bussy. <laughs> ah, my ears. That was amazing. I, you know, right off, tough act to follow with the previous one, but goddamn, that was great. Uh, I'm a second here, chat. Need to take a second to look at a thing. God, please keep me signed in. Oh, someone beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> Just trying to review a pull request, but they got me already. Damn. Alright, never mind. I guess I'm not needed then. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Number seven. Uh, Just a dude one. <clears throat> Discoveries. One. Specimens can sometimes respond to the redacted, causing... The game to show a checkerboard pattern in producing a strange redacted. Two, it's recommended to use gloves before redacted as it can cause redacted on the hands. Three, the strange redacted in imagery would cause the majority of subjects to stop playing the game. Few subjects have even reported having strange dream, dr dreams. Ball out. Aw, oh, ball out. This disc gets me. Oh, it opened a fucking command prompt. I'm being hacked. Like, it was like, okay, let's start with the thing that Goon will hate the absolute most, and then just make it more and more up to his, uh, up to his tastes. <laughs> Open your eyes. I don't wanna. Your new body. <coughs> is now ready. My body is ready. You are unable to move. Good. But your cell will help. Bring me the fallen souls. Oh, we dark souls now. The process of rebirthing. 
will now begin. Initiating phase one. I'm sorry, I have my mouse on the screen. I don't know why I left it there. Going back to a suggestion made two hours ago. Move your cell with the arrow keys. Okay. Bring the soul to the exit. Oh, it's fucking Quap. Oh my god. Eh. Uh... <laughs> Siphon Filter, and other games that I own copies of and want to play but never have. Uh, I kinda, once I finish my N64 marathon, I might literally just start doing like a... Not, not the same thing, but like a much more diluted version of that where I just play through the games in my collection minus ones I've already streamed before, which is a good portion of them, honestly. <laughs> So we're not going to be replaying all the Mega Man games, although maybe I will because I love those games, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, not playing any Resident Evil. Heck, those games. I kid, I kid. But I probably won't go out of my way to uh, add those to the list since I've played all of them about six trillion times on stream already. <laughs> I know chat hates it when I play Resident Evil. Uh, speaking of that, though, I do want to play Village in third-person mode, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I say all these things, but these are actually totally really far away from my plans for what I want to stream this year. My, my main stream focus this year is I want to do more game development, and we're already on the right track. We're two for two. Two Sundays. We've, we've stuck to our coding day. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going. <coughs> Hell, maybe that's what we'll end up or end off stream with. We'll just work on that level editor a little bit more. It could certainly use some work. Oh yeah, I added controller support for it. However, I suspect that it's running horribly inefficiently because it like froze Unity when I was using my controller. <laughs> also. When you press like the directional pad, it goes flying like the cursor, so that's not great, and I should fix that, but you know, details. Programming is an iterative process. Oh god, here we go. Remember, okay, I mentioned this, there was that one maze game that was all green and on fire, and it had like movie clip, random movie clips playing in the mad, one of the Mad Vent calendars. Uh, no! <laughs> when I mentioned that, like, labyrinth game where you have, like, a metal ball and you're just trying to, like, tilt the board to get the ball into, like, the right hole and not into the wrong hole. Uh, this is, a, this is actually exactly like that. <laughs> no! Fuck! <laughs> Minus the tilt. <laughs> well, the literal tilt. The emotional tilt, still very much there, as you can see. <laughs> it would be really funny, although way more annoying, if uh, instead of like being in a perfect spheroid, if my guy was like human-shaped and he would just like rotate like this, but it would be like, God fucking damn it. Uh, but it would be like... He's hitting bumps and stuff. You couldn't make a level this precise. I mean, I guess you could. If you wanted no one to fucking finish it. <laughs> this right here is pushing it. With, with a, like, normal sphere that has consistent movement. Okay. Didn't overshoot at that time. I see you slowly inching your way off the cliff, you son of a bitch. So I think I will eventually create a Discord for my Twitch, which is long overdue. Then just keep it really bare bones. And each user can only post three times a day. Kidding. <laughs> but... That would be funny, though. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I just thought of the most evil thing. <clears throat> I don't think this would be possible, but if I could find a way to, like, make you use your channel points <laughs> to do stuff in the Twitch channel, or in the Discord, it'd be pretty great. This reminds me of cool math games, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! What the fuck? You can finally walk, consider this your home. That was cool. I like games like that. Nothing like astoundingly revolutionary, but hey, it's fun. All right, number eight by Cure the Dead with a K. Uh, the more unnatural our work becomes, the more we progress. I'm hopeful for what the future brings. <coughs> and this is called. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> I don't see a name on this. <clears throat> it's number eight. Phase two. Ah. Baby steps. I was gonna say the symbology. Oh shit, dude! Oh my god. This might be the coolest fucking thing they've ever made. Like, I, I love all of the Haunted PS1 stuff, but holy fucking shit. <laughs> Not this game in particular, but like, just this bizarre progression of the way the games have like gone. And the story too. It's very out there, but I think it's worth it. That, that was a certified goon hype mo moment. So, I have to go edit that and turn it into an emote. The like like got us! No! Damn it. I suck. <coughs> Alright, we'll be more careful this time. I didn't realize I'd die in one, uh, one hit. I also just say this is probably like the most horror thing in this collection so far. Maybe minus the first two games. <laughs> this one's definitely the goriest. There's no no contest there, at least so far. Oh god. Here they come. I thought I was supposed to lose here for a second with the way the music was. No! Ain't gonna get me, you son of a bitch. I also like the soundtrack. Yeah, it's a it's a nice beat. Short and simple, you know? That's what you want. Or something like this. But it's a jam. Well. Well, well, well. Who's next? More blood for the blood. God, whoa, fuck! What's that noise? Oh, oh, it's a new track! Holy shit! We got more music! Oh god, the movement is like... It's... Evilly fucking perfect. Oh fuck, they come that way too. Oh god. They're AI! They've adapted! No! Oh. <laughs> Sloppy hits. It's like, damn, this room looks rough and I saw that ramp. Yeah, I know. I also thought I was gonna have to jump down in there and that it was like a forced loss or something, but. Nope! It's actually set up so that you can win. Incredible, I know. What a concept. Triple kill! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, we're gonna cut the cord? 
That's your weapon. Sacrifices must be made. A new existence awaits. Look at the, the fucking typeface on this shit. Uh, I cut that part out. It's a cool fucking game. New birth or whatever it's called. Or nothing is what it's called, I don't know. But now we're on to number nine. By Asta's Future. One, specimen closely resembles disc format, but is composed of amorphous material. Interfaces readily with PlayStation console. Two, disc emits an astringent odor resembling redacted. Uh, secretes dark uh, viscous fluid upon light exposure. Contents of data disc or contents of disc uh, depict unknown sub -aqu aqueous entity. Whew. Four entity responds to key inputs. Arrows AWSD again yield similar results. Five various adverse reactions. Uh, Recorded after prolonged interaction with disc. Avoid redacted. Uh, six. Note carbon dating results invalid. Outside known scientifically recorded ranges. Swell. Number nine. Almost halfway. These three swell. Oh boy, we're Marble Madness now. Consumed! No! <laughs> Let me out, bitch. Yeah, the cat's death. Pasta's future, that's just Italy. I do have some pasta from the future in there. How do I not become consumed? What is my goal, also? It's probably a thing that will consume me. Yep, all that is. Okay, get me the fuck out of here now. Go, man, go! What are you doing?! <laughs> I, like, I wasn't pressing anything different, it's just like, uh, yeah, you go this way. <clears throat> you literally cannot carbon date a disc, but okay. Well, there you go. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> is this like uh, Feeding Frenzy or whatever that fucking it is? Oh my god, it totally is. Dude, I fucking hate this goddamn... Ah! They like, cannot date this Carbonara. Okay, yeah, it's that fucking fish game. We just gotta eat things smaller than us. Oh, it's a worm. Oh yeah, or that, or worm. Yeah. Take your pick. My fucking ears, dude. Stay away from me, you. No, 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 no. Yo, I can. Or Katamari. No, 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 no. Oh fuck! Big boy, big boy, big boy. Not so big now, are you, bitch? Yeah. I hate that it fucking makes like static noise when you're near things that are gonna kill you. <laughs> Not just out of fear, it's just like it's really fucking annoying audibly. Oh, that guy's big as fuck. Oh, these guys are also big as fuck. <laughs> you, you, I can eat you. No, come here. It's Katamari if you had no traction at all. <laughs> Can I kill this thing? I don't... Oh, we're tussling. we tussling. That guy will kill me, I'm pretty sure. These guys won't, though. Get on in the pile, baby. Oh, it's a big boy! That's a big, big boy! No, 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 get me out of here! Dude, he fucking knocked all my shit off! 
What the fuck? <laughs> It's like this is actually like Beyblade. I thought it was Katamari. We thought it was uh the fish game. I thought it was worm. But it's actually like Beyblades. Love Katamari, so do I. It's a fucking amazing franchise. Beautiful games. Ah That also would be part of my marathon since I own several Katamari games. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to win this fight, but I'm going to try. Bitch. Got him. Am I like... It feels like I'm able to fly now, but I don't know how to control it. <laughs> I really just move with Wasad and there's nothing else control-wise here, so... I don't know what my fucking goal is, other than to maybe, like, eat God or something. I don't know. Oh, good. Now I'm back down to tiny, tiny dick mode. And this guy's coming for me. Yeah, I might fix- I might just skip this one, because, uh... <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ, what is the point? <laughs> like, give me a goal, and also don't fucking- Fuck my eardrums, like, every two seconds. Dude, fuck that. <laughs> like, oh my god. D take, take one second to think about your sound design in your game. <clears throat> and don't fucking do that. There's so many horror games that have the high-pitched, like, fucking ringing sound. Why do they do that? It's just, it's so unpleasant. It's not scary, it's not whatever. Like, you could just take any other sound. I don't know. I, I'm not finishing it on those grounds. Also, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Number 10. User lands. Randy, you'd love it? Yeah, yeah. I believe they would. I don't know if I got that fly or not. Field notes on Parasite Intelligence, an idea born from the redacted. From here, it is redacted. Demands energy to be redacted, <laughs> the subject unaware. Fully committed to the redacted, redacted relation is symbiotic. An the angel of history. Nobody really knows what's been going on. It's been 13,000 <laughs> years since the last redacted event. What a time to be alive. Moon pies. <laughs> Organ of Eden sounds infinitely better than fucking ear gangbang <laughs> tinnitus game. <clears throat> oh, I'm the monster. <clears throat> so I guess this is what we grew into after we totally beat that game and didn't rage quit it because it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh crap, what was that game that I played a while ago? I almost called it Contagion, it's not Contagion. That is a video game though. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, fuck. My controller's making me rotate. There we go. Um... You guys are still here, right? Hey, guys. <laughs> nice. Cool. Sorry. The fucking my PlayStation controller acts as both a microphone and a speaker, and my computer loves to just think, "Oh, you unplug this, time to completely switch your mic and speaker," or or when I plug it in, like, "Hey, here's a new mic and speaker. How about we how about we use those?" Maybe. I don't know. I clipped out of the world. Wait, maybe I can get back in. Break the glass, break the glass. We're just a little guy. 
And it's our birthday. Yeah, I fucking broke this game. So, bitch. I really wish there was, uh... Some sound effects or anything to me murdering the fuck out of these guys. <laughs> but yeah, there was that game I played a while ago where you play as, like, the, the monster from the thing, basically. And it was like a Metroidvania. I can't... I don't know why I can't remember what the hell the name of it was called. It's because it's called... It's like one word that's like Contagion or something, but it's not Contagion. Uh... That was a really cool game. The end. Hello? Is there a stampede of horses outside or something? Yeah, I probably broke this. I feel like I shouldn't have been down here. Oh, but also that appears to be the end. Okay. I, I guess we did it. That started out promising and it was kind of like nothing, but it's not offensive either, so whatever. It's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hold tight, everybody. I'm taking a very quick break. And then we'll continue this game collection. We're halfway through. That was number 10. And there's 20. Be right back. Monka. Hmm. Hello, chat room. <clears throat> so, fun fact. I'm still checking my phone as there is still chaos going on in our deployment. However, none of it appears to be in anything I've done. Not to say I couldn't be helpful if I was there, but nobody has summoned me. So, hey, that works for me. <laughs> Maybe they just haven't gotten to testing the part that I pushed out, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take not, not getting pulled away midstream or just after hours in general. <laughs> Alright, number 11. By Nero, Nero Boo. That's the person that made the Killer Bees game in the first demo disc, I think. Or they just have a very similar name. Disclaimer, the specimen can and will interfere with anyone that comes in contact with it. There is no known method of handling it safely. Findings. One. This appears to be a normal PlayStation 1 game made in early 1997. Uh, March 20th, 1997. 
The disc is normal licensed PlayStation 1 game. 2. The CD, when inserted to the CD player, produces a white noise. After redacted redacted minutes, a man is heard reciting parts of the Bible. Bi the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> the Beyblade. <laughs> At around redacted minutes, the track ends. 3. The personnel that came in con... <laughs> in con to redacted... I men... <laughs> It's reported that they were contacted via phone by Pasture Redacted. Uh, they, the reports mentioned that this man had a redacted voice. He appeared to be friendly, asking only for redacted. The Beyblade. The Holy Beyblade. I have for a few minutes and my cat said hello. Or I leave for a few minutes and my cat said hello. Meow. Damn, I can't do a good cat sign while I'm like this. Uh, four, everyone that came in contact with the disc did show symptoms of paranoia and severe psychosis with pasture redacted. EEGs were or ordered and showed abnormal results. Uh, of all of the people that finished the game, there is none alive. Redacted are missing and redacted died from seemingly natural causes days after their exposure. Five, CD-ROM manufacture date is redacted 2020. A possible misprint? Six, drowning sounds are emitted from the disc at random intervals. Ooh. I like that they brought a priest in. Day 11. Number 11. Oh shit. We're going full horror on this one, it seems. <clears throat> I'm playing a puppet combo game. It's pixelated to shit. I'm not. I'm not done yet. Phasmophobia or that? Yeah. It's like puppet combo version of phasmophobia. <laughs> Come on, we've got work to do. Gasp. Satan? Hello? I don't know where the story's going anymore. We were like a creature under sea, and then we we broke out, and now we're just some jackass at a well. Are we going to come across the creature? <coughs> Remind me of the RE2 van? Oh, the one at the beginning? Right outside of Kendo's place? Yeah, that's fair. Are we climbing down there? Is that what that sound is? Oh. We pulling it up? What happened? Oh, there's some there's some graves now, I guess. Huh. Yeah, that one. Nice. Farewell, graves. <coughs> what part? Or what does this part of the woods hold for us? <clears throat> We're gonna get lost in the goddamn woods. Or eaten by a Dracula or something like that. Damn it, there's nothing out here. That's, that's the worst situation. I guess there's like a big rock here. <clears throat> like, I actually, I'm enjoying the interconnected narrative that's going on between these games. Uh, the... Stuff that's printed on the discs comes off like the most like average of SCP stories. <laughs> not horrible, not amazing. Oh, I see a light. Just kind of like, oh, and then the disc, everyone that played it died. Can you believe it?
Damn it. Thought I could go that way, but I can't. I just can't. So I will say, while there are only two other demo discs beyond this to play, uh, one, they seem to make two of these each year, so... <laughs> Got two more coming this year. <coughs> At least two of them. Uh, and two... Uh, I'm pretty sure both of those will probably take me multiple streams to finish, because they're both... One has like 27 games, and the other has like 29, I think, so... It'll probably take a minute, unless they're all really short, which I doubt. Because the first demo disc had 17, and it took us like almost like six hours to finish all of them. And we didn't even finish two of them. Digging some graves. Grave digging simulator. Now we go to the next di grave digging spot. And get jumped by some unspeakable horror. Yeah, I'd play a grave digging sim. It's free. This, <laughs> this is all free. <coughs> oh man, a couple of years ago I found a bunch of Itch.io games uh, that were Halloween themed for Halloween. And one of them like was like a super arcadey like game where you had to like stop uh, werewolves and vampires and zombies from, like, rising out of graves. And you were, like, a, gra a uh, groundskeeper in a graveyard. It's a very cute game. It's all, like, pixel arty and very, like, cutesy. Is that the same one? No, wait, that wasn't here before. Is my vision getting more distorted, or am I just, like, finally going blind from this filter? About damn time. Sasquatch, you out there? Not my favorite in the list so far. But it's also hard to beat floating head vaporwave game. <laughs> I should go in the cave now. I've often said that. I feel really immersed right now. That's exactly what I would say in this situation. E. <laughs> So moving to Washington, my mom keeps telling me to watch out for Sasquatch 100% seriously. <laughs> She's right. Better watch out. I feel like I got here by cheating. But I'll take it. Return to my own grave now. I was going to say I'm glad my mom doesn't believe in stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure she's like heavily into like ghosts and stuff, so... Probably does. <laughs> and I've never asked my mom about Sasquatch, but I might be surprised. Or not. <laughs> Explains so much. More, more in like a, um, I guess that, that could be really like vague and mean a lot of different things. Oh, I can go down here. That's weird. It didn't let me do that earlier. So we're going to run into the creature from the last thing, I think. Oh, or we'll just get fucking buried by rocks. Oh my god. <clears throat> we're dead now. Oh, crushed and drowned. Amazing. They say that's the most peaceful way to die, so that's good that that happened to us, I guess. <laughs> Genuinely scared I'm gonna get whisked away by a cryptid. Fair. 
<laughs> that bowling noise, <laughs> yeah. Strike. <laughs> Oh, we're not done yet. Hey, man. Oh, we are probably done, because I can't move. There's, like, a terrifying uh, deep dive video I watched recently. It's called Man in Cave. It's about a man that got stuck. Not He wasn't, like, caving, because this was, like, a long time ago. But he got stuck, just, like, clearing out a cave that was on his property. And, uh, holy fuck, <laughs> I never want to enter a cave after hearing that. <laughs> he would have been knocked out by the debris, probably. Most likely. Uh, I didn't hate that, didn't love it. I don't know why I'm giving reviews on these now, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, number 12. By Jan Malishuk. <clears throat> Falling footage was extracted from an extremely damaged smartphone found by hikers in the redacted Heath in West Germany. I know it came so badly. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> the phone screen <laughs> was completely cracked. It was covered in dust, and the metal parts were partially darkened, showing signs of burning. The footage itself is extremely bad quality, both visually and and sound, which is very strange, being a supposedly recorded, or being supposedly recorded on a modern phone. However, it is of course not entirely safe to say that the footage was actually recorded on this phone, or even in the area of redacted Heath. The contents are definitely not what one would expect. Diving's a big nope. You def uh, and definitely, if you can't even see what's above you, the fear of open and deep water. So I would not go diving. I feel like I would go diving, but I'm probably an idiot, and <laughs> I shouldn't do that. I don't know, I feel comfortable in the water, though. Um, but anyway, sorry. Number 12, avert your eyes. Thalosphobia is real. Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh-oh. Um... Are we just watching videos? What's happening? <laughs> oh, I am playing. It's fucking nice resolution, bro. Well, it's directly after the last one. We have a concussion and everything. Ooh, TikToks. The ominous cave in my local forest. <laughs> Number two, the ominous cave in my local forest. The last thing you want in your local forest is an ominous cave. Every now and then it needs to be cleaned out. I am going to go blind playing these fucking games. Oh! Ow! Okay, hold on. Let me turn that down a little bit. Holy shit. I don't think I can watch this, this is worse than a bad VR game. AKA Stray Light. Got him. What about the what about the audio? Do you guys like that part? Worst game? <laughs> you know, I think I'll still take that over the fucking tinnitus simulator. <laughs> the audio is better than Stray Light. It just keeps getting louder. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna hold. On. I'm actually gonna turn it down. That's so fucking obnoxious. I don't. No. 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 Oh no. Yeah, let's just turn that down like a billion decibels right now. Yeah. <laughs> turn it down for myself as well. I think I'm going backwards now, but you know what? It's worth wandering around so as not to completely bl blow chat's eardrums out any more than I already have. Who said that? <clears throat> Damn, where the fuck am I? Where the fuck is anything? Maybe this is where we came in, actually. 
We need to go this way. Their wisdom is dangerous and not meant for us. Burn, bitch! How is it still crazy fucking loud? Oh my god! Dude, I, this isn't this isn't even the worst game in this collection. But I want the creator to know that I actually don't like them. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, it's not great audio-wise. It's not loud on my end. Good, I've turned it down enough for you guys. I swear, it just keeps getting louder, though. Could you... burn? Is this the bee guy? No, that was actually the last game we played, was the guy that made the killer bees. And that was, you know, well-balanced. Why are there more? Although, I guess it could also be the same person, I'm not sure. You're a magician? Yeah, we just shoot fire out, because why not? I can't kill this one. It does not scream when I burn it. But it's children. It's making R2-D2 sounds. This is- this is Sky- yeah, this is Skyrim. This is the Skyrim I remember. Mobile Skyrim. Uh, don't forget that... Way Too Dank is an emote. If, 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 if the emote Way Too Dank could be a video game, it would be this. Are they all dead, finally? So I'm playing Xbox on my old Xbox TV. <laughs> <laughs> Seems about right. Thomas the Tank. So every year I make offerings in secret. Bro. <laughs> I take it back. Maybe this is the worst fucking game. <laughs> For them to leave us alone once again. Three sacrifices should do it this year. Sacrifice one. <laughs> Thomas would think it's about to fall over or fly over. Yeah. Please let that count as three sacrifices. I don't know what you want from me, game. No, those aren't the sacrifices. That's just me killing those guys. This thing's coming at me. What is the sacrifice? Burning these alien meatballs? I don't think that's the sacrifice. I burned something here. That wasn't them. Hey look, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Accept these morsels and avert your eyes. Mini eyes of Sauron. It's a big eyeball. We got him. Oh, they really are? Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of a less pleasant thing that you could possibly render for someone to fucking look at than this game. It's one back there. Yeah, but there's something over here I missed. Oh, okay. I'm just burning these crucifixes. That'll bit that'll get the big guys. Yeah, bitch. The fuck out of here. I don't know if I need to kill all the little guys, I just need to burn these three people. Be 
these three Jesuses here. That might be a big guy. I might not be able to take him out. It's like <laughs> Sauron meets ca the cock out, the cock cock out demon, <laughs> the cock out, the kerchow demon. <laughs> How the fuck is it? Cow cow demon. How the fuck do you say that? <laughs> I know what you're talking about, Doom. I know, but <laughs> the guy got eyeball guy. The Keck W demon. It's <laughs> the Queer Chow demon. It's done. I, ho I hope they find a new tragedy to look at. Listen, you pretentious fuck. I don't need your Jesus allegory and your fucking 2x2 two two pixel resolution ear fuck of a goddamn video game. Fuck off. Oh my god, fuck off with that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Virt your eyes is right. Virt your ears too while you're at it. It's like that that one and the other like deep sea one are like tied for like the worst right now. I guess I actually finished that one, so it's slightly better. Anyway, number thirteen by Shane Yacht. Yeah, sorry, Yacht. One, specimen only responds to left and right input for keyboard. Uh, or ergonomic hand joystick. Please ignore any unfamiliar redacted that you may encounter during redacted. Two, resembles a standard Sony PlayStation game disc. How many of you are gonna fucking say that? Three, produces a 434 hertz hum when struck with a small hammer. Reference, 8CB03. Four, if left in... <coughs> Sorry, if left in a room for more than redacted hours, any metallic objects will surrounding the disc will have inched closer to it as if the disc was magnetic or had strong gravitational pull. You know, there's several reasons why I say that these like these memos are very like bland SCP stuff. Number one is because they just redact random words to make it seem like it's some kind of government document. Like, oh, how many hours was it? We had to redact that part. Who the fuck cares? Um, number two is the fact that like. They just make up some mundane bullshit that's like, oh, it's magic. Like, oh, it's magnetic suddenly. Also, I giggled because I was looking at my phone while I was reading this, and <laughs> my fucking CTO just types, this is like one of those fishing game apps. It made me think of what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> God, I hope that everything's okay with that deployment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. <coughs> Number 13. Um... I don't know if that's supposed to say, like, Coven Dotum. This is extremely SCP, but, like, not... Like, I don't think SCP is necessarily, like, a bad thing. But I do think that, like, the way that that part comes off... I hope you feel less anxious about it, thanks. Eventually it's gonna be done, one way or the other. <laughs> Alright, I can only go left or right. Oh, it's like, um... What's that game called that's on the Sega Saturn? Where you're, like, a person just flying forward. Poor little guy. Like I said, no one's added me, so I assume it's good, but I, I can clearly see things aren't good, because that it started at 9.30 and it's the meeting is still going on, so like, that's not a good sign. I don't want to say I don't know what game you're talking about. Oh, the bitrate probably went to shit right now, I just realized. Uh, maybe it's not on Sega Saturn. Sega CD, maybe? It's this- it's this exact perspective. And you're like- you're a character that's like fly- I guess the only difference is it's not first person, you're like a character flying that's like right in front of the screen. And you shoot stuff. So it's some weird name, I don't know the name of it. Oh, look who's fucking back! Oh, cry me a river, bitch. You came for knowledge. I came for knowledge. <laughs> I don't know if that was a huh at what game I'm talking about, or a huh at what's going on in this game. But whatever. You nutted for knowledge. <laughs> Everyone type come detected so Carly can't see it because she doesn't have butter 
better. <laughs> she doesn't have butter Twitch installed. <laughs> Oh, am I controlling the pitch of, like, the song? Yeah, I can actually see it today. I don't know why that wasn't showing up yesterday. Many were burned to, to, to stop us. And what? And for what? Your superstition is illusory. Ooh. <laughs> Impressions making this game look like it's the same filter as the last game. Yeah, sorry. I I can't help it. That's just the nature of video compression. <laughs> what? I just lost, I think. I think we gotta restart that segment, I hope. Yeah, okay, this looks like the same segment. Uh... I don't know if this game came out, but when System Shock 3 had its, uh, like, beta that they sent out, or demo, whatever you want to call it, uh, there was, like, a weird effect on it. Oh my god. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. That made it, like, ridiculously hard to stream without it looking like fucking vomit. This is pretty rough for a bit, right? Yeah. These confess shall be broken. Say okay, King. Cheers, King. Um, excuse me? I didn't realize I was playing fucking, uh... What was it called? It's that rhythm game with the drums. What is happening? I think I'm glitching it right now. Toho? Is that it? No, wait, that's an anime. <laughs> what am I saying? Speaking of uh, insane rhythm games, I was watching someone play, uh, oh, not Trumpet Simulator, what the fuck is it called? Trumpet, Trumpet Hero, or something like that? A game where you play a trumpet? Can I even beat this? <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, it's finally going away. Oh, okay, I, I am thinking of Toho, thank you. We understand now. We shall find another tragedy. We are free. You are a f we are free, you are a fool. I love that sentence. <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> cow cow Sauron. Thanks, Keck W Sauron. It's like you're playing a shitty version of the Microsoft. Windows 95 screensaver. Don't look behind you, chat! Don't look behind you! Had fucking haunted campfire tale, thanks. <clears throat> oh good, it's all about this one. Number 14. Uh, infinite Noodle. I do like infinite noodles. Uh, one, the CD cover doesn't provide much information. I wasn't expecting this creepy eyeball again. Uh, two, looks like the game responds to Wasad controls. Three, I asked Redacted for more details, but they couldn't say more about it. Number 14, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully this has better resolution than the last- Hey, it's a- it's a Godot game. Don't look behind you, percent. <laughs> Was a fun guy in the last one? True. You sent us, but you won't escape from here. You will not find the exclamation point books. Oh yeah? Sure. Trombone champ, thank you. I don't know why I said hero. That's a very funny game. The end. You know, honestly, I should have said Guitar Hero, because it's way more like Guitar Hero than the fucking drumming game that I was thinking of that I still haven't figured out the name of. <laughs> they got me. It's a maze, get fucked, goon. It's a maze, but I don't lose my books, so... They can suck my ass, I don't care. It's a stealth maze. Which doesn't really make it any better or worse, in my opinion. 
but it is in fact a stealth maze. I don't know if this is working the way I think it does, but I think the track like it's it adds layers to it when you start having someone near you, and then when they spot you, it's like the chase music, which is really fucking cool for a little like tiny game like this. Uh oh, not not maze rock band. Sure, whatever. Rock band guitar hero. Take your pick. It's all the same to me. That's a song that's in some Guitar Hero slash Rock Band game. I don't remember which one. <laughs> I think it's in a Rock Band game. Rock Band adds vocals and drums. Yeah, but it also doesn't have trombones, so, you know. Is this Slender the Arrival? A little bit. It's a lot more forgiving, though, because I don't have to restart every time I die. I just keep the number of books I already had. Dodge. Doesn't know. Oh, he knows! That didn't work! <laughs> Must be the sequel, Ska Band. The full... Uh... Adult toy support as well. I'm being chased? Oh, no, this is... Oh my god, Mantis. Watch out for the red orb, man! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Scab and the arrival of mozzarella sticks. <laughs> oh shit. No! Whatever. You take me, I already fucking won. <laughs> Bitch. Thanks. Very cool video game you got here. Dude, he's spawn camping. Fuck off. It's orbin time. Get orbed. Dude, he is actually just fucking BMing right now. Oh, it's not even the same guy. This is fucking bullshit. Give me a fucking invincibility timer here. You car. Nut. <laughs> was, he, was he gonna say cunt? Was he gonna say cuck? We'll never know. And that's the way I want it. Oh my god. I wasn't, I wasn't even fucking looking. I was reading chat. Cocknut. Damn it. Raina knows. Schrodinger swear. Fuck off! Are you kidding me? Yeah, we got the books. Now get to the reading desk, baby! Oh my god, everybody's here. It's like Smash. Everyone is here. Dude, I wish I could rotate faster than a fucking sedated Resident Evil character. Like, this is bullshit. Wait, I think it's here. No. Oh! <laughs> Where the fuck is it? Whatever, when I die, I'll spawn near it. Where are you? What? Where are you? Why are you here? Here it is. Yeah, I'm here, but now these guys are both here. Orby heard you talking shit. Orby can suck my goddamn... Gigantic cock, fuck you. The books are too powerful for you. This knowledge is a curse. No! No! You are going to join those who already failed. You are a tragedy. <laughs> hey, the meeting ended. Nice. All is well in the world. Spam and links. I'm kidding. I didn't even notice that Orbeez <laughs> get reset. Orby heard you talking shit. My potions are too powerful for you. I like Orby. <laughs> Fella ta tang you. But now Fella tang the big wet Did you has anyone seen that video of the French guy that ruined his life with Orbeez? Did he 
like basically ruined his entire town's sewage system. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yes. All right, number fifteen. Luke's offline. Reminds me of this one time I got. Hey Lois, remember the time? <laughs> it's the worst fucking Peter Griffin. <laughs> I got involved in rituals and stuff, walking through the woods in the redacted, looking for items that would grant me passage into redacted. I believe it was, or was it redacted? Nonetheless, that kind of stuff made me question if the bizarre ramblings we find online or in crack dens are really just logs made by oneself as a warning or another warning to another or as a guide. My mind wanders at these questions, and sometimes I feel my eyes play tricks on me. I've seen too much with these eyes. Anyways, what is life without a few mysteries, and how are we going to know if myths and rituals are fake if we don't try them? I used to own books full of this stuff. Goon, you sure did quote Family Guy ironically and thought, you fuck right off, Mantis. Uh, it's number 15, and it appears to just be called 15. We don't slut shame in the shed. <laughs> yes, I hate him for it. What? How? Oh, yeah. Oh, you haven't seen that. It's amazing. <clears throat> I'm changing his Discord name right now. Oh, no. That's how I banned a viewer for speaking the truth. Listen, the best way to do a Family Guy reference or joke is to do it as shitty as possible. He said, the ritual says I must collect 80s books. We're still collected books! Can we get a new thing to do? Are these orb fuckers gonna show up again, too? Man, this- this- this was, like, insanely good in the middle. And <laughs> now it's just become, like, the same idea. Rehash. At least my eyes aren't bleeding looking at the fucking game anymore. Oh, look, they're here. Great. Great, dude. Couldn't be happier about that. Dude, can I re again request to be a mod? Oh, yeah. I uh, actually keep meaning to do that, but I always forget. I can't right now because I'm being chased by these guys, but... uh, Yes. Dude hates collecting books. He hates mazes. Jeez, what does he like? At least the eyeballs are completely different, I guess. Hey, me too. Me, me too. Me, me, me. It's every, everybody mods. Everyone's just mods in my chat. Mods are VIPs in my chat. <laughs> this... <clears throat> That's just my whole chat. Oh, this now now we are actually in full on slender territory. By the way, like, this couldn't be more on the fucking nose. VIP, very impressive penis. You gotta let me in. Alright, Mantis gets the VIP slot. But the drive is about power. <clears throat> I think I'm just looking for landmarks, basically. Hey guys, what are you doing over there? Oh, I'm at an edge. Hold on. Is there? Yeah, there is a book by this rock. Not this rock though. Are they getting faster? Being hunted by Borpas. Do you think everything is nothing? They've been watching your streams very long. They're already VIP! Fuck off! <laughs> Not that I wouldn't mod them also, but. Dude, two books. Just got one more to go. And there it is! Hey! I'm a fucking genius! D3 is a living against across the stream. Mantis should be a VIP. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really dumb, but it was also very short, so fine, whatever. This is the dumbest, most pointless rip- Alright, uh, that's mean. I appreciate everyone that makes these games, but, uh... That was incredibly pointless. <laughs> that was just like a slender ripoff. It's P week, yeah. Uh, number six, number sixteen, by neither Nathan. 
one specimen has been known to respond to redacted results unpredictable uh digital pointing device and keys awsd plus e functional when applied to sony playstation disc reader uh make me laugh every time it's so dumb it's so easy uh two disc made from composite material showing traces of redacted and redacted three physical form resembles Sony PlayStation disc format, black reflect reflective backside plastic cover, and iridescent disc. Four, contents of disc closely mimic events relating to Echo Garden incident case file 13B13 uh, redacted Snowdonia, Wales, United Kingdom. An anonymous user on Twitch posted this file with the caption, This is where your haunted demo discs come from. <laughs> I feel like I should be doing a nuke voice while doing haunted stuff, but you know, whatever. I'll, I'll do either way, that's fine. I can't really do a nuke voice, to be fair. That's probably why I don't meme on that particular YouTuber. Do a nuke -em voice. It's time to kick ass and come out my butt, and I'm all out of ass. <laughs> Excellent. I tell you guys about the time I got Duke Nukem, well not Duke Nukem, John St. John to prank call my friend. It was the best. He broke he broke character because I told him that my friend definitely wouldn't answer because I thought he wouldn't, and then he answered. I grabbed the last of the books and ran. Hurling hur hurtling through the forest as fast as my legs could carry. That's fucking rad. Yeah, he's a cool dude. It wasn't long before I reached the sudden Sodden boards and bramble of the old cabin. I will dig into that story more in a second. Wonder what copia looks like. My salvation rests in the soil between the burrows and the bush. I had to act quickly. That's been the occult demo game you played a little bit so far. Oh my god! Please tell me I can. Okay, I can move faster than that. It's very, very occult-like. Herb burner. Need to put this one down first. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go put these down. Oh wait, is it just in the circle? No, no. Oh, we gotta go burn those herbs. This is so incredibly floaty. Oh wait, no, you just put them here. Oh, but I have to fill them. Okay, so we gotta go find the herbs, put them in the herb burners in these corners, and then we're good to go. So to elaborate, this game is running at like 2 FPS, but I, I will do my best to try to finish it. Uh, so I was at a at a convention. Hmm. Technically, it was an anime convention, but I have an excuse. It was on my campus, so it was very easy to go to. Uh, and there was a panel of voice actors. And I forget the other two people that were there, but John St. John was one of them, and he was talking about how he got started in voice acting, and yada yada yada. Just neat little stories of voice acting. Uh, but then after that panel, he didn't have, like, anything lined up. Uh, so he was just, like, hanging out with people and, like, answering random fucking questions. Uh, this needs to go in the lower right corner of the Triforce. Uh, and then, at some point, somehow, that evolved into, hey, if I gave you my phone and, like, had dialed up my friend, would you prank call them? And he was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm cool to dick around. <laughs> so, uh, eventually, my turn came up in that. And, uh, I had to call my friend who I, well, he was working at the time. <laughs> And he was working as a cashier, so I'm like, there's no fucking way he's gonna pick up his phone. So I'm like, yeah, just leave, like, a funny voicemail. Oh, also, he talked shit about Duke Nukem Forever, so, like, shit on him for that, or whatever. You know, just, like, <laughs> so, something to, to personalize it, or whatever. Uh, and then, apparently, that particular day, my friend, instead of working the cash register, they, they had him, like, loading, unloading the truck. So he was like out back and he's like, well, I can fucking answer my phone. Why the fuck is Goon calling me? So he picks up and uh, 
He's like, <laughs> it like completely, like immediately throws off his cadence. But, uh, fuck, I forget exactly what he said. But he, he like completely just cut him off. First of all, he thought it was like a, a, a soundboard that I had just found and was fucking around with. And, uh, so he was like just memeing to begin with. And then he had like the perfect comeback when he was talking shit about uh, Duke Nukem Forever, <laughs> and he's John St. John just kind of lost his shit, and he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm here with the uh, goon. He told me to prank call you, but you you were the first person to break my my character, <laughs> and also the last." Anyway. That man, Belize. Big fucking surprise who showed up here, chat. He could even be lurking in chat right now. He could ban all he is, he's a mod. Accidentally blood sacrificed yourself. Yeah. That's okay. I wish that didn't run at 2 FPS, but otherwise it was fine. <laughs> Uh, I really hope that we will get away from these fucking eyeballs. I'm so bored of them by now. Like, holy shit, it's been like seven games, I think, since they started bringing the eyeballs in. <laughs> no, not the eyeballs. Uh, anyway, number 17, Amos... So sorry, bye, Amos Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's in Japanese. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna translate this. It's not gonna translate well, though. Go chat. I'm gonna read this verbatim rather than try to translate it. If I type it out, it does work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For <coughs> Unicode characters. Uh the cover of the sample is taken very funky. Was it stress free? It reminds me of the zeros. This must be the 70s because there's 70 in there. However, I am very concerned about the contents of the sample. It reminds me of my childhood. I'm sitting in a room with a triangular wall wallpaper. I can't go outside. <laughs> there you go. Veil, number 17. Please. No eyeballs this time. Please bad? No. No bad. No. Emoji, er, wait. One glance at a book, you hear the voice of another person, perhaps someone dead for a thousand years. To read is to voyage through time. No eggplant plus <laughs> sweat drops emoji. They redacted that mood. What's happening? A book. Ghost book. No, not a book. We're gonna fucking sit here and collect books again? God damn it. <clears throat> Where am I? Need a mega mind emoji. I need to make um follower emotes. One of these days. So that everyone can have emotes. Could be lazy and just take my sub emotes and make them follower emotes, but well, some of them they wouldn't all fit. <coughs> Chat, we're looking for books in the fucking woods again. Thunder is gone. Maybe you're the eyeball now. Please no. What is going on? Maybe the real eyeball was inside you all along. Mind blown. Up your butt. It's not a safe place for eyeballs. Steve Jobs. Ninja. Oh no, it's here. The eyeball? Is the eyeball here? Yep, it sure fucking is. You bet, bud. 
Oh, I'm gonna lose if the thing catches me. God damn it. Bullshit. What do I do? He's faster than me. What actually do I do here? I don't like that. <laughs> wow, my fucking... Oh, I don't like this. Well, time to die. Oh. That was supposed to happen, I guess. Hey look, fractals. This is fucking drum and bass. Oh my god, it's so loud. He likes you? What if fractals? This 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 game had the the goal to ask. What if fractals? I don't think this ends because we're literally in a fractal. So it's gonna be like endless. I'm weirdly like off centered for some reason. Oh, I can go any direction. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm gonna close this. It's also running at like 2 FPS. Oh, it closed itself. Never mind. It's very loud. Sorry. Yeah. It's. Sound balancing was not this person's strong suit, nor was making a good game. I'm being mean now. I need to stop. <laughs> uh, specimen number 18 by Autumn Rain. Specimen has redacted from the library. Citation needed. Number two. Specimen can possess and mutate people. Citation needed. Number four. Oh, fuck you. Number one, two, four. <laughs> Librarian was later questioned and unaware of any paranormal activity present in the vicinity. Number seven, librarian responded uh, to the activation of the space button. <laughs> Subject responded to the activation of an arrow keys. Also cat and snake and pumpkin. Nice. Oh, also assets used. Boom. I doodle cats like that. They are very cute. I like that part. I also like scary, the title itself, Scary Library, has drawn me in. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully no eyeballs. I know it's a library, but hopefully no f***ing collecting books. God damn it. I think I hate that more than mazes now. It's so dark and stormy out. Thankfully this library seems to be open right now. It's me. A strong language goon. I know. It's an 18 plus stream. Wow. You're open late, huh? Yep. I'm, uh, nocturnal. Lamau, look, it's Carly's next boyfriend. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Shh, go look around or something, please. Who's, who am I talking to? Oh, there we go. <coughs> More than mazes. <laughs> like this. It's her current boyfriend, thank you very much. Am I wrong? <laughs> I like this so much better than the last, like, five games we've played. I'm so sorry to those creators, but oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder how much, like, directorial direction they were given, because, like, everything has to be, cons or, like, a contiguous story, right? I mean, this one seems pretty detached, but ignoring that fact, like, the goal of this collection is to make a contiguous story. You can books! Alright, this is instantly the best game. I don't know, Guna, never seen you in a library. <laughs> Learn a skill? Read is yes! I like the style a lot. It's cute. Um, I've seen a million games like this, but... This is cute. The distortion around the lens. Yeah. <laughs> Read is yes. Baba is you. That is a game that I absolutely love, and I will never, ever, ever stream it. Because I would fucking hate it. 
Not, not hate the game, but I would hate streaming it. Oh look, the Necronomicon she left behind. She's gone, but this note with a rune on it's here. I wonder if there are any more. One out of seven. Oh boy. Oh, I actually missed that. I totally didn't see that there was a lesbian flag on one of the bookshelves. I want to play Baba's You. It's insanely good. Also, I've never felt dumber playing a video game. Oh! Hello, Eldritch Horror. Please don't eat me. It's a librarian. He's coming for us. That? No, not that one. Uh, and uh, that, uh, those are, well, they're not really in the shape of the flag, though. This one? Over here? Someone tagged us horror on Steam. <laughs> nice. A thing lacks eyes. Or it lacks eye, singular. I mean, hey, it's something different, thank god. That is true, it is all the color. Yeah, 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 there, there we go. Fair enough. I think a couple bookshelves also had the exact same color layout there. Um, what do I do now? Please don't be right here or something. I can't swing the camera around to know. Be very rude ass of you, to be honest. Oh. Boom. Be gone, monster! You don't belong in this world. I collected all the pages. Stop possessing the library and stop it now. It's like, I don't give a shit about the pages. Nope. Or that. You. You saved me. You are very courageous. I think that book you were reading was overdue. Or haunted or something. The end! Very cute game. <laughs> Lamau, this nerd doesn't have the authority to correct the waiter at Denny's house. He banishing a demon. I did like that. Honestly, you know what's stupid? Is functionally it's very similar to the last like 7 or 80 games that we've played in this collection. And yet, somehow it just had charm, and that made it, like, way better. <laughs> Maybe I'm just desperate, I don't know. Whatever. Number 19. We're almost at the end, chat. There's two more. That's sh the thing. It's short and to the point. But so was this, though, Vale, and I also didn't really like that. Maybe because Vale blew my eardrums out after I beat it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I didn't like about that one. <laughs> uh, specimen number 19 by neither Nathan again. I also had a really small map. True. True, true. <clears throat> Disclaimer. Specimen's cover is reported to cause fixation cases similar to hypnosis. Take proper care when studying it for too long. Discoveries. 1. When tested, specimens seem to respond to conventional first-person game controls. Mouse plus facade. Oh, we playing an FPS? <coughs> 2. Events shown in the specimen's gameplay seem to bear disturbing similarities with the redacted and the redacted events. It also references clearly the entity cataloged as uh, 054-FL, not from Florida, identified as in, in it, identified in it <laughs> as Abraxas. Uh, three, approximately two-fifths of the subject subjects that were exposed to the specimen's cover had collateral effects ranging from dreaming with imagery present on in to risking their own well-being trying to reach the specimen. Report 2I09 redacted. Subject IL002 attacked security agents in an attempt to grab the specimen which was neutralized before doing so. Uh, credits over there and I need to see him. I need to see him looking for me looking for my cat. All right, Abraxas, number 19. Only one more past this, unless there's like a finale one, which there might be. There probably is, too. Perfectly timed out, as if I, like, knew. Now that there's, no now that there's nothing more to do, I must do what I promised my father. Oh, yeah? Two bros sitting in a hot tub. I have to get that book. He told me about more books no more books 
and read his instructions. Fuck, my Neil Breen painting is really far away. Uh, on how to avoid the end. <laughs> I would absolutely grab it, though, if it was within arm's reach. If it was in headset cable reach. It's like all the way in the fucking corner. <laughs> Gotta do this fast, they already took over everywhere. <coughs> everywhere, you say? 2N4... Oh. Yeah, he was serious, okay. Fucking Dewey Decimal! Fucking spirited away monsters that are actually like Japanese folklore creatures. The book! Got it, now I have to get out of here, quick. I like this, except it was really easy to find the book. Ah, ah, ah. Yep. He saw me, chat. Where'd he go, though? Read is no, goon. Dewey Decimals aren't valid anymore, fun fact. True. I'm supposed to read it like this. Okay. Uh, soul, when there is nothing more to do, give yourself to the void. Okay. Sun. Sun, when there is nothing left to do, give yourself to the void. It's the fucking... The YouTube essay song. Frederick Knurtson uses it all the time and down the rabbit hole. Just turn your speakers up, it's very quiet. It's actually that fucking song though. It's like a royalty free like piano song. When you're wrapping up your video essay that's on a somewhat somber topic. Such as DSP or <laughs> or something like that. The Minecraft music. Or a hurdy-gurdy, yeah, that too. I don't know if anyone else uses that song, but... I'm sure other people do. I mainly hear it off of them. Oh my god, that was so loud. <laughs> I was listening so intently, and then suddenly... <laughs> it's a cool style. I like that one. That was actually really cool. I wish it was longer. I That's, that's like maybe the one that we played that I'm actually asking for more. But well, here we are, number 20. It's 666666. File missing, file missing, file missing, file missing. Every field redacted. By Corpse Pile. It's 666666. Oh, orgy. You may enter. <laughs> I do like the overall. Like, I know I was shit-talking the, like, individual, like, memos and stuff, even though I read all of them. Um, but I do like this idea. <clears throat> I thought you read that. Thank you so much. Anytime. I'm running out of stamina, chat. Also, I can't move, like, left or right. I can only move forward. I can literally only move forward. I can't go backwards, either. Me and the boys on a Saturday night, am I right? <laughs> Girls night! <laughs> this might be the finale actually, the way this is like framed. Look at all those friends! I know, right? They're the friends we made along the way. <laughs> That's me, sitting over there, watching TV, smoking a cigar, as I often do. <laughs> this is that one game that I hated in uh, this year's, or not, the 2022 Advent Calendar. 
It was very, like, lull to random, and it made you repeat certain sections, and then it ended with you, like, killing that duck or whatever. Yeah, the Fever Dream one. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same person that made it. I don't know. I don't pay attention a lot to the names. The only reason I recognize the one name as the, the Killer Bee guy is because we just played it earlier tonight, and also I misread it, and I realized that I misread it when I saw the name over here. Either that or there's, like, another creator with a very similar fucking name. I have to say... I'm impressed. You made it this far. Well, we didn't finish one of the games, to be fair. But it was complete bullshit also, and it was hurting my fucking ears. <laughs> Reliving your death over and over again... ...is not a weight many souls can carry. It's the- it's the curator from <laughs> the Dark Pictures. <laughs> you endure the fear and pain from each cycle. In hopes of postponing humanity's end. Lol Terandum XD. Prolonging your suffering to delay that of others is respectable. But we both know. Is that war footage on the TV? It's nothing more than a fool's errand. What is inevitable cannot be stopped. But. Oh no! Oh no! I do enjoy watching you try. See you again soon, Mr. President. Sorry, friend. <laughs> I had to go Metal Gear Solid on it. Met Metal Met Gear Surd. Oh no, it wasn't 666666, it was 999999! Here we- Aw oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> they just put that graphic there for fun. Is there anything else? I cannot go any further in the collection. Just to confirm, because I have prematurely quit out of these previously, uh, I'm gonna go back in Torch and make sure there's nothing new in there. Crunch, 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 crunch. But I think that's GG's. Uh, overall, I, I really like this. Um, it really hit an amazing stride in the middle. Like, the beginning was okay. Like, this stuff's all fine. But in the middle... There was some, like, actually really fucking fun, like, tiny little mini-games. And then, uh... And then, oh my god, I was collecting books for, like, ten years, and that was awful. And seeing the same eyeball things. And also, a lot of those games hurt my fucking eyes. Uh... <laughs> but, you know, as, as always, you know, maybe I don't like some of these as much as others or whatever, and I might sound like I'm talking shit. Uh, I have mad respect for anyone that's contributing to a project like this, like seriously. I cannot hone that in enough. Even if I, even if I didn't like the game, even if I fucking hated the game, uh, like, things like this don't happen without each person fucking committing to it, and I appreciate all of them. All, all the developers that worked on all the things in this. Uh, I'm sure organizing it's probably a, the bigger pain in the ass out of all of it, but all the same, Respect the hell out of every goddamn person that was involved in this. That's all. Uh, I think this is just the same, so... We're probably gonna call it. <laughs> Can't get enough of the mazes I see. This is just me walking around and... I'm vlogging. Doing like a Minecraft vlog, like, hey everybody! <laughs> Yeah, it's all the same. But, uh, yeah. That's two more Haunted PS1 collections down. We have two left. But also, as I said, I don't I don't know if they're going to continue doing these, but if they are, we can expect probably two more this year. <laughs> like, they usually release one around Halloween time, and then, like, a Christmas one, or, a, sorry, a winter one. It's not Christmas-specific, though there are Christmas things in it sometimes. 
When I got time for your Minecraft stream? Never. Literally never. Not that I hate Minecraft, as you know, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, is, this was cool. I didn't really know what to expect with this, because this is a very different thing. Same with the showcase floor. I didn't know that that would be, like, super short, but hey, you know, whatever, it worked. Or it worked. Like, it, we, we got to play it. It was a game. It's a very simple game, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I... You know, this is, this is like one of those, like, teams, well, it's not really, like, one team, but, like, if they put something out, like, I guess you'd consider them a publisher, if anything, right? But if they put something out, like, onto PS1 team, I'm gonna fucking play it. <laughs> Bottom line, like, uh, it's, it's, I like to liken all this stuff to, like, going through an art museum, but for, like, game design. Like, it's... People just like kind of put themselves out there. There's a lot of creative freedom in what people make. Not everything lands perfectly, but you see some really unique and cool shit, even if it's not the best experience. Sometimes it's totally worth it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's that is chain. Uh, so ne next up, we're gonna be doing the 2021 demo disc. Uh, I don't know what day we'll play that. I'd also like to continue both the Mario ROM hack that I was playing last week, as well as uh, the N64 game we've been playing since, like, mid-December. <laughs> but TBD on when we do all those things. We'll probably mix all three of them together into, like, you know, half-and-half half streams and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. That'll do it.